Yo, how's it going guys? Welcome to a video today. This is going to be the sequel to the 6x6 to 2x2 reduction video because this is how to turn a scrambled 6x6 into a 4x4. That's right, 6x6 to 4x4 reduction. Let's get straight into it. So this is what the 6x6 reduced into a 4x4 looks like. The centers are little 2x2 blocks and the edges are 1x2x2 and the corners are just normal corners. JPerm recently released a video reducing a 6x6 into a 3x3, and I made a video a few months ago reducing a 6x6 into a 2x2, so now I'm just gonna do the other one, which is reducing a 6x6 into a 4x4. Step one is to reduce the centers. Now, there's three main ways you can do this. Technique one, I like to call half centers. So like this, so then you have this bar, and then you do that, so that's a half center. And then the other half, you just do a different color. So let's say this orange. But first, before inserting it, we gotta put the two next to it. So that one, this one, and then that completes the bar, and then like that. So that's half centers. And you can do quarter centers too, something like this, where you just build them in little quadrants of two by two. So you could do that, you could do, you could do whatever, basically. I'm just gonna stick with half centers because it's the most unique and it's kind of cool. Okay, so now I've reduced all of the, all except two centers into half centers. So what do we do now that the rest of them are half centers? Well, first turn the inner centers into half centers and then try to make the rest of them half centers, but that's not always possible, but just do your best. Okay, so this is um, as close as I can get very good. So now it's time to use commutators. So it just cycles them around. So this goes to here, this goes to here, and then this goes to there. So that means that when we do this cycle, this green will solve this quarter center, but this orange will come here, and we don't want an orange piece there. So what do we want there? Well, we want some other orange piece that we don't currently care about. So something like that. So put a whole orange center there so that when we do this commutator, it doesn't get messed up and we complete the other one. So in this case, this will go here and this will go here, but that's not blue, so we need to make this blue. Otherwise, it's gonna mess stuff up. So then we do this commutator. Okay, so we are on the last two centers. So this will go here, this will go here. So we need this to be blue. So let's find blue, here's a blue. Um, whoops, like that. And now when we do the commutator, we should get um, all solved centers. So yes, we have reduced the centers into four by four centers. So that's pretty cool. Okay, so next up is edge pairing. So this is a perfect example already done for us. So we're gonna pair, instead of pairing like huge um, four long six by six edges, no, that's bad. We're gonna pair smaller edges. So we're gonna pair them in groups of two. So you can do this beginner's style or you can kind of um, do it like advanced three, two, three edge pairing. Or in this case, it's like three, 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 two, three or something. I forgot the exact number. Basically, slice over. This is uh, yellow red. So we find a yellow red. I think it's this one. Put it in there. Okay, this one is uh, orange white. So we find an orange white. Might be this one. No, because they're facing the same way. So, uh, ooh, it's, I think it's this one. Yep. Okay, moving on. Yellow, orange here yep and then slice back and then that solves three at a time so that's pretty nifty then after solving three of those like groups of pairs so like six four by four edges in total you put them in this sort of like solved u shape here and then rotate so here so now all your unsolved edges are in the top layer except for this all right so at this point i have six edges left um one two three four five oh oh yeah six so basically, I set these two up and you can do like um, solving two at a time now because most of it's already done and it's pretty nice. So, so I set up these two and then I slice over and then when I put a garbage edge in, I want to put in a white and red one here so that it pairs up with that one. So I can do that like that, go back and it does that. That's good. So th having three edges left is very good. Because if you have two edges left, it's kind of this impossible parity, which you can't really solve unless you destroy another edge. So if you have two edges left, 
destroy one of them to make three edges left, and then solve the three edges using one last thing. So these are already set up, and then I just need to insert the um, other green-red one after I slice. So, like that, and then back. And now, we've reduced a freaking 6x6 into a 4x4. Look how cool that looks. It's so weird, like the centers are so huge, it's awesome. So now you can just um, start solving with whatever your favorite um, uh, 4x4 method is, I guess. Uh, I don't actually use the reduction method, I don't know why I started doing that, but um, I usually use this um, Roux method to solve uh, 4x4, so, but most people don't know that, so I'm just going to do the standard reduction method. So, uh, yeah, so you can just solve it like a 4x4, it's kind of fun. Is this method good for speed solving? I don't think so because the edge pairing takes like a really long time, but uh, it's definitely just fun to do, just general messing about. And boom, now I have reduced the 6x6 into a 4x4 into another 3x3. Oh, but you can still get parity, so unlike my 6x6 to 2x2 reduction method, um, you can get parity, so that's kind of a shame. But, oh well, whatever. Parity's not that bad. I still use a garbage algorithm for it, but whatever. Uh-oh, I think I have an impossible PLL too, so I got double parity, yep. Hmm, half of a Z perm? What? Parity. And then, yeah, so that's um, 6x6 to 4x4 to 3x3 reduction. Or actually, you can um, reduce that 4x4 into a 2x2 if you want for no parity. So I hope you guys enjoyed that method of reducing 6x6 into 4x4. It's not the best, but it's kind of fun. So try it out, leave a like on this video, tell me what you think. With that being said, please subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe to Glove and Audio Central. Please, I need views, and I spend time on these videos, so it really helped me out. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video.